No worries if your room looks plain and boring. In this video I'll show you 10 beautiful winter inspired decorating ideas which will make your room look amazeballs. Ever since I posted my first DIY room decor tutorial, I've been getting so many requests for another episode, so I thought, why not? And since we're approaching Christmas, these decorations are perfect for this time of the year, but many are also more winter inspired, so you can totally make them when Christmas is over too. I'm gonna show you 10 beautiful ideas, including this one, which will make your room look like a proper winter wonderland. Okay, enough talking, let's get down to business. We're gonna kick off with this beautiful pine tree pillowcase, which is a great decoration for all year round, plus you can make it for very cheap. We'll need a plain pillowcase, some patterned fabric, a piece of brown fabric or felt and fabric glue. Fold one side corner in like that. Apply some glue and fold the opposite corner over it. Apply the glue also on the bottom part of your tree and fold that little triangle up. You get a beautiful pine tree shape with perfectly neat edges completely without sewing. I love using patterned fabric pieces because they just make the pillow more interesting and full. I made one more green and red tree, but this time using a bit smaller pieces of fabric, so I got slightly smaller pine trees. Of course, every tree also has a trunk, so let's cut four triangles from a brown piece of felt or any other fabric of your choice. We're now all ready to glue our pine trees on the pillow. Happy dance! Woohoo! Apply a bit of glue on the back of each pine beauty and place it onto the pillowcase. I like that my trees overlap a bit so it looks more realistic. I'm also gluing some trees a bit higher than the others to add some dimension. In the end we have to glue the four trunks under each of our beautiful pine trees. Voila! We are finished with this gorgeous pine tree pillow which looks great in your bedroom or living room. I had these green pillows on my sofa from before and I thought a pine tree pillow with some green and red will complement them perfectly. I wasn't wrong, I love how everything turned out. A very easy and super adorable winter decor ideas are these sweater candles. All you need is a candle, a glass and a sock or a sleeve of an old sweater. Put the glass into the sock opening and cut away the excess. I like to leave some extra fabric which I then tuck under the glass. Put the candle into the glass and you have the cutest winter candles ever. This literally take a minute to make and they look so beautiful, warm and cozy. This kind of DIYs are my favorite, quick, easy and stunning. A really cool and inexpensive decoration for the winter time is this pine tree bouquet with orange and pasta ornaments. To get the pine branches we're gonna first take a little walk in the woods. I'm lucky enough to have one right behind my apartment. Find a pine tree or any other tree really and cut a couple of branches. Mine are ready, so let's quickly get back home and make a beautiful room decoration. Besides branches, you will also need a couple of oranges, glue gun and string, plus bow shaped pasta and spray paint. First we're gonna paint our pasta. Protect the working surface with a cardboard paper or a plastic bag, place on your pasta and spray it on both sides. In a minute you're left with beautiful golden bow ornaments. Now we need to make our orange ornaments as well. Cut quarter of an inch wide slices of orange like that. Yum! I love orange so much. Especially now that they're in season, they taste so good. Place the slices on a baking tray and bake at 240 Fahrenheit for 3 hours. While baking, the orange slices will dry, harden and shrink a bit. Take them out of the oven and let's work on the hangers. Make a hole using a needle and lead a string through it. I'm using a golden string which goes perfectly with our gold bow pasta. Make a knot and we're ready to hang our orange ornaments on the pine branches. I love how this looks. 
You can also decorate your Christmas tree using these beautiful dried orange slices. To attach the pasta bow, simply apply a bit of glue on the back of each bow and stick them on the branches. How pretty, right? Using orange and pasta to create such a gorgeous decoration may seem crazy, but I think we all agree that the result is stunning. I just love making unique and inexpensive crafts like this one. On top of that, oranges smell so good, you won't need to burn any scented candles at all. Time to make this gorgeous winter wall art with snowman and a little quote. We need a canvas, a palette, blue and white acrylic paint, sponge applicator and optionally some water. Let's make a blue gradient for the background. Squeeze some dark blue paint on a palette. Dip the sponge in the water and then into the paint. Color the upper edge of your canvas making a white blue stripe like that. The background should be darkest on top and lightest on the bottom, so to get a slightly lighter blue shade mix in a bit of white. Then color the section below the darkest blue with the lighter blue shade and blend the two colors together. For an even lighter blue color add more white acrylic paint and color the section below our previous color. Continue these steps by adding more and more white paint until your canvas is all covered in this pretty blue gradient. Color the bottom part using pure white paint to represent the snow on the ground. Alright, now it's time to print out the quote There's no place like home in a big heart. Of course, we also need to print out a snowman. Cut the heart and the snowman out. How cute is he? Apply some glue on the back of the snowman and the heart and stick them on the canvas. You can get a lot of snowman pictures on the internet, so just google it and you'll find a lot of results. You can of course be creative and instead of the snowman you can print other pictures like a house, a Christmas tree, anything you like. The options are endless. To make this wall art extra wintry, draw a lot of white snowflakes all over the canvas using a small paintbrush. If you want an extra little detail, you can also add some silver glitter paint on top of each snowflake. Plus, I decided to make a shade under the snowman using a pencil to make a picture more realistic. To bring together the canvas with the printed snowman and the heart, cover the entire canvas with a very thin layer of Mod Podge. I do suggest using a photo paper when printing out your pictures instead of a regular paper. This canvas is a great winter decor for your room or the entrance of your house. Here in Norway it can get pretty cold outside, so I'm always so happy when I get home from the wind, rain or snow. So for me, the quote, there's no place like home is absolutely perfect. Another DIY, another walk in the woods. This time I'm picking up pine cones, acorns and these balls which I don't even know what they're called. Have some fun exploring and pick up whatever you find where you live. I decided to spray paint just the balls while I'm keeping pine cones and acorns natural. Leave the paint to dry for a minute and mix all these beauties together. Put them into any kind of transparent vase or even a bowl and you get a gorgeous decoration perfect for fall and winter. I love going outside and bringing home pieces of nature. I think such natural decorations give so much life and joy to my apartment. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this pretty and warm sock. Just kidding, we're making a stocking, because where will Santa otherwise leave all our presents, right? You will need any fabric of your choice, some white furry material which is optional, stocking stencil and fabric glue. First we need to cut two stocking shapes from our fabric. You can just do it directly, but I like to use a stencil to get a perfect shape. Place some tape pieces on the stencil and then stick it on the fabric. Cut it out using scissors or an X-Acto knife. Take the other piece of fabric and now we have to cut out a mirror image of the first stocking shape. To do that we need to peel off the tape pieces on this side of the stocking, flip the stencil around and stick the tape pieces on that side. Cut out the stocking shape. If you want you can totally have the same fabric on both sides of your stocking. I happen to have slightly different pattern but that's okay. When both stocking sides are cut out it's time to glue them together. Apply a stripe of fabric glue all around the edges of one stocking side. Oh no, what a troll! Of course I shouldn't apply the glue on the upper part because that's where the stocking needs an opening. How else would Santa put the presents into our stocking if it would be sealed all around? After about 15 minutes the glue should be completely dry and you can flip your stocking inside out. Cut about 10 inch stripe from your fabric. We will use it as a hanger for the stocking. Glue the stripe ends together. 
While the glue dries, let's apply an awesome fur ending to the stocking. Or you can use some other fabric that you find, like white felt for example. Apply two parallel stripes of glue on the top edge of the stocking where you have the opening. Do this all around the stocking so that the entire top part is wrapped in the cozy faux fur. In the end, tuck the part sticking out into the sock for an even neater look. The only thing left to do is gluing the hanger on the back part of the stocking and we're done! Now we're all ready for the Santa's visit. So, we're waiting Santa, we're waiting for you. I really like how this stocking turned out, it looks so professionally made. You can also use this as a gift wrapping idea and fill this stocking with little presents for a friend or boyfriend. Everyone would be so happy to receive such an awesome gift. Clay stars are a super pretty and versatile decor idea that you can actually make all year around. Hang them on your window, wall or even use them to decorate your Christmas tree. We're gonna need different colors of clay, star cookie cutter and dough roller. Roll the colors of your choice into strips like this. I have white, minty green, glittery grey and blue. I went for more wintry frosty colors as you can tell. Twist all the strips together and note that the more you twist, the more marbly your stars are going to be. I want my design to be pretty full, so I decided to roll my clay again and twist it like that. Have fun and play with it so that the clay colors mix together. Then form a clay into a little marble bowl. Place it on the flat surface and use a roller or something rounded like a vase or a bottle to flatten it. Take a star shaped cookie cutter and press it on the clay to get beautiful clay stars. I seriously feel like I'm baking cookies, no joke, I just wanna eat this so badly. To make these stars easy to hang once they harden, we also need to make a small hole using a needle. My clay is air drying, so I have to wait for a few hours for the stars to dry and harden, but you can bake them and speed up the process. These beautiful stars are now all dry, so you can use the hole we made earlier to tie on a piece of thread. We're finally ready to decorate the room with these pretty marbly stars. I already plan to make this using bright clay colors for the spring and summer because this DIY is just so much fun. Wanna make your room look like a real winter wonderland? This frozen candle will help you get just that. To make it we need a vase, snow spray, artificial snow and a candle. Now let's put our winter wonderland candle together. Take a piece of paper and sketch a zigzag line all along like that. We're creating a stencil that will help us make the perfect ice stalactites. Cut along this sketched line using your scissors. This shape really reminds me of scary teeth of a shark or some other beast. Relax, Sarah, it's just the paper. Okay, take your vase and wrap the stencil around it. As you can see, the top of the vase stays uncovered and this is where we will apply the snow. Take your artificial snow and spray it all around the vase until the top edge is completely covered and you can't see any transparent parts. I really love this spray as it makes everything look so wintry in a second. After a few minutes the snow on our vase sets and we can remove the stencil. Here we have them, perfect ice stalactites all around the edge of our vase. Now what's left for us to do is to pour in some artificial snow and place a candle in the middle. This is such a fun DIY to make and I think it really turned out epic. In the evenings I like to turn all the lights off and I light this candle, it seriously looks so gorgeous. This could also be a great gift for a friend, your mom or anyone that likes candles and pretty decorating pieces. Now let's make this beautiful mittens pillow which is a perfect decorating piece for Christmas and winter on general. You will need a cheap pillowcase, some pattern fabric, a piece of white fabric, yarn and fabric glue. First we need to cut a mitten shape out of the fabric. Find the stencil of your choice on the internet. I typed mitten stencil, got many pictures and chose this one. Print it and then cut it out with scissors. To keep the stencil in place while cutting the fabric we need to stick some tape pieces on one side. Flip the fabric so that the wrong side is facing up and stick on the stencil. Now we can easily cut a perfect mitten shape and the stencil will stay in place all the way. Here we go, our left mitten is all done. Now we have to make a mitten for the right hand too. Remember that now you have to cut out a mirror image of the first one. And here they are, our beautiful kneaded mittens ready to decorate our pillowcase. Apply some fabric glue on the back of the mittens, hot glue should work fine too and stick them on the pillow. 
Fancy pillowcases can be very expensive, well you can get such plain cases like this one for a few dollars. I chose red one which makes it a bit more Christmassy but you can use white or blue one and your pillowcase will be perfect for all winter long. Next step is optional but I happen to have this white faux fur fabric so I decided to cut two little pieces and stick them on the wrist part of the mittens. Instead of such fur material you can totally just use white knit or cotton fabric. Now they look even more soft and cozy. To make our pillow even more interesting and full, I'm gluing a piece of white yarn making sure that the ends are attached to the mittens. This string makes the pillow look so retro. I still remember having such gloves when I was little. Here it is, our mittens pillowcase is all done and it looks amazing, right? I mean, you can't even get such a cool design in a shop. This is a great decoration for your bed or a sofa. It just adds a warm and cozy feeling to any space. I absolutely adore it. Even if you don't have a proper Christmas tree in your room, you can still make it look super festive for the holidays. These yarn trees are easy to make and so inexpensive. All you need is some thicker paper, all-purpose glue, yarn, paintbrush and buttons. Make a cone shape using a piece of thicker paper. Cut away the excess to get a flat bottom edge so that our tree will stand nice and straight when finished. Get your yarn and glue ready. Before we start wrapping the yarn around the cone, we need to attach it in place firmly. So stick the yarn end on the tip of the cone using a piece of tape. Now we can apply glue on a small section on the top part of the cone and start wrapping the yarn around like that. Make sure to wrap the yarn rows close one by the other so you can see the paper below. Add more glue and do some more wrapping. What I like about this DIY is that all the things you need you most probably already have around your house. So you don't have to spend any money for this beautiful Christmas decoration. Our cone is now completely wrapped and we can cut away the excess working yarn. I also decided to cut off a few millimeters of paper to make our tree even neater. Time for the fun part, decorating the Christmas tree. I'm gonna use these green buttons in shape of flowers because they are the only buttons that I have, but of course any buttons will do. Apply some glue on the back of each button and stick them on a tree. There we go, how gorgeous, right? But we're not finished yet. You guys know my obsession with pom-poms, so of course we have to put one on top of our Christmas tree. I show you how to make a pom-pom in my DIY gift ideas tutorial, so check it out if you don't know how to make it. Our Christmas tree is finished and it looks so beautiful. I loved it so much that I had to make another one, this time using green yarn and white buttons for the bubbles. I finished it off with a red pom-pom on top. These little Christmas trees are so adorable and inexpensive, you really have to try them, guys. They will look beautiful on your nightstand, desk, anywhere. A lovely Christmas decoration for sure. Now you guys are all ready to spice up your rooms for the holidays. If you try these ideas out, please send me your pictures on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram because seriously nothing makes me happier than seeing your masterpieces. I hope you're having an amazing December so far surrounded by the people you love. Thank you so much for watching this video, I'm sending you a bunch of kisses and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye! You really don't need to spend a ton of money to make your room look awesome. All you need is some crafty spirit and imagination. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun designing and creating your own dream room.